in all honesty, it kind of sucks because I want to go out with my friends. I want to spend the time I have with my friends as well as caring for my mum. But it's trying to fit it all in. I clean the house. I cook the meals. I do a lot of the, like, the handyman jobs, helping her up the stairs or helping her get up off the couch or out of bed. Mentally, emotionally, 24 seven, your thoughts are with them and their needs. What you might be having to do or will need to do or didn't do. And from my point of view as a carer with my son, that's what impacts on me most. The role of the carer, um, it allows people to remain safe and well at home. There's such a varying range of reasons to be to have a support need um, and family carers just pick that up. Um, they're doing it without people necessarily seeing that that's being done. Sometimes my mates want to go out, go to like the pub or anything. Suddenly I have to cancel because my mum's gotten ill or has fallen down. There are good days and there are bad days and the bad days don't make it very easy to stay strong but here I am and I'm still here and thankfully there are better days too. The carer's passport is a tool to identify a person as a carer um, and also enables them to access the support and benefits from other services and organisations. We can identify carers earlier, work with them at an, uh, a lot earlier and, and work together really. I think it would help bring more recognition to what carers do and especially the young carers do. Useful phone numbers and information at the fingertips for them. That for young carers would be great because I just need a lot more help with figuring out what I'm supposed to do for my mum as well as myself at this point. Discounts in like certain stores would be it's great because a lot of young carers can't afford or their parents can't afford to by like certain important stuff. I do believe that the carer's card will acknowledge my role as well as all other carer's roles and hopefully increase the, the two-way information sharing and the openness of professionals to actually speak with the carers about the things that worry them. Carers would have seen maybe the decline of the, of the patients that we look after and they can describe it really well. And sometimes if from that description, we can actually start to pick up on things that we need to work on with the patient and the carer. Having that carer's passport can avoid them having to repeat the same conversations to explain themselves and feel that they have to justify the support that they're providing and their reason to be there. I also think that the acknowledgement in terms of carers being able to use the discount is, is really essential just for support to their health and well-being and to encourage them to do things that look after them as well. It will simply make life slightly less fraught. It would become much easier to acknowledge a carer, to recognise a carer, to signpost a carer to somewhere that can be supportive of them. It's the age-old thought of, if the carer breaks down, who's going to care for the carer?